Hey guys, Salaam Alaikum Rahmatullah. Problem number 4, chapter 24, electric potential. Let me read out the problem. Two large parallel conducting plates are 12 cm apart and have charges of equal magnitude and opposite signs on their facing surfaces. The electric force of 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 15 newtons acts on a charged uh, acts on an electron placed anywhere between the two plates. Neglect fringing. Find the electric field at the position of the electron. What is the potential difference between the plates? <coughs> so we are given two metallic plates, two metallic charged plates. The facing surfaces are having equal and opposite charges. I have shown. Okay, so uh, equal and opposite charges. The facing surfaces are having equal and opposite charges. Uh, an electron is placed anywhere between the plates. So let's consider an electron somewhere here. So we have an electron placed here. It experiences force 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 15. So force is equal 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 15 newtons. Okay, this electron we know will experience force opposite the direction of field and that force will be equal to E into E, E being the charge of the electron and capital E being the uh, electric field between the plates of the capacitor. So we have to find out electric field and then we have to find out potential difference between the two plates. Electric force we know is given by E into E, magnitude of the electric force, charge into the electric field. So that would mean E is equal to F divided by little e. Force is given 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 15 newtons divided by electron. Charge of an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Okay, so this is what we have to work out. I've already done that. This comes out to be 2.4, 2.4 into 10 to the power 4. 2.4 into 10 to the power 4 volt per meter or Newton per coulomb. Okay, both units are equally correct. Newton per coulomb. So this is the electric field between the plates of the capacitor. Okay, Bet between the plates, these are metallic plates. E is equal to 2.4 into 10 to the power 4 volt per meter or Newton per coulomb. Now we have to find our potential difference between the two plates. Okay, potential difference between the two plates. Well, in case of a uniform electric field, in case of a uniform electric field, potential difference, magnitude of the potential difference is simply E into D. Electric field into the distance. Okay, electric field into the distance. The basic equation, you must be all aware of that. Delta V is equal to negative of line integral E dot ds from some initial to final. Okay, you consider uniform electric field and then displacement in the same direction as that of the field. Okay, displacement in the same direction as that of the field. You will come up with this equation E into D modulus. Okay, modulus of potential difference is E into D. Now, E we have already calculated in part 1, uh, 2.4 into 10 to the power 4, and separation is 12 centimeters. So, we have to convert it to meters. So, this is equal to electric field we have found is 2.4 into 10 to the power 4 this is volt per meter so it's already an SI system separation is 12 centimeters so it becomes 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters so everything is an SI system okay everything is an SI system so this is what we had work out this comes out to be 2.9 2.9 into 10 to the power 3 volts so potential difference between the plates of the capacitor between the plates these metallic plates is 2.9 into 10 to the power 3 volts. So potential difference 2.9 into 10 to the power 3 volts and field between the plates is 2.4 into 10 to the power 4 vo uh, volt per meter or newton per coulomb. Fine. That's all we're asked to find out. That'll do for this session.